Hello friends, welcome to yet another fascinating video of Wisdom Zone. This is your bro and friends, I'm quite sure you have already guessed it from the thumbnail that in today's video, I am going to give you some trending English vocabulary. It is my earnest request to all of you, please watch this video to learn all the trending English vocabulary. And if you still haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait. Immediately go ahead and subscribe to Wisdom Zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So friends welcome back once again to this captivating video on trending English vocabulary as I have promised in today's video you are gonna get all the trending English vocabulary so friends the first trending English vocabulary I'm gonna discuss so let me read out the first one it is paparazzi obviously it's noun and it is the plural form paparazzi freelance photographers who follow famous people everywhere they go in order to take photographs of them for newspapers and magazines. They are called paparazzi. So as you see the example of him so surrounded by a swarm of paparazzi. So I'm quite sure it's clear. Up next we will dive into the second trending English vocabulary that is emote. Let me repeat once again. Emote, it's a verb. It means to give expression to emotion, especially in acting. So that's called emote. So as you see the example, the famous actor emoted the exact feelings. So I'm quite sure it's clear. That means the person gave the right expression which expressed the right feelings. So I'm quite sure it's clear. So that's the meaning of emote here. Up next we will dive into the next trending English vocabulary which you always see that is gourmet. Let me repeat once again. It's gourmet. It's an adjective. It has two meanings. The first meaning is very high quality especially food that's called gourmet. And it is an adjective so as you see the example a gourmet dessert that means a very high quality dessert so up next we'll dive into the fourth word because here also you see gourmet here it is used as a noun it means a person who knows a lot about food and cooking so that person is called a gourmet so as you see the example he is a renowned food blogger and a gourmet so i'm quite sure it's clear that means he knows a great deal a lot about food and cooking so that's why this word is used so up next we are going to dive into the next one that is next trending english vocabulary is on your screen that is montage so let me repeat once again it's montage montage is a noun and you must have heard quite often you must have seen it several times on social media so montage is a noun and it means a picture a film or piece of music which consists of several different items that are put together that particular picture of film or piece of music with different items put together is called a montage so as you see the example a montage of images up next we will dive into the next word the next trending english vocabulary which is very often seen that is metaverse let me repeat once again it's metaverse obviously it's a noun Metaverse is a virtual world where humans as avatars interact with each other in a three-dimensional space. So that's called the metaverse. In fact, it's a virtual world, computer-generated world. And this is quite often used in different gaming platforms. That's called metaverse. So I'm quite sure it's clear. So as you see, the example is on your screen. The metaverse is quite elusive. So I'm quite sure it's clear. Yes, obviously it is quite elusive, deceptive in fact. So up next we are going to dive into the next one. And the next one is on your screen that is nomophobia. So nomophobia, if you break it up, it means stands for no mobile phone phobia. That's called nomophobia. Okay. So as you have guessed it, as I tried to break it up and discuss that is no mobile phone phobia that means a psychological condition when people have a fear of being detached from mobile phone connectivity so that's called nomophobia when you have that fear that you are detached from your mobile phone connectivity you cannot use your mobile phone and there is no mobile phone with you so that phobia is called nomophobia as we say no mobile phone phobia so as you see the example nowadays many youngsters suffer from nomophobia so i'm quite sure it's clear up next we will dive into the last one and the last trending word last trending english word which you see often online and on social media is hangry 
it's not hungry it's hangry hangry is an adjective it means to feel irritable or angry because of hunger so that's called hangry not angry or hungry so as you see the example we felt hangry as we had to wait for two hours for our order so i'm quite sure it's clear so that means we were very much angry and we felt irritable because we ordered food and we had to wait for two hours so i'm quite sure it's clear so that kind of feeling is called hangry and it is very much common and very trending you might have seen it on social media so friends today i gave you some extremely important trending english vocabulary these are latest trending english vocabulary so i hope all the meanings are clear please go through the examples and make sentences and comment below and if you still haven't subscribed to this channel please do not wait immediately go ahead and subscribe to wisdom zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification so stay tuned for further informative videos and please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to wisdom zone